how to be an entrepreneur. And if you listen to what I tell you, it's going to change the way you think. It's not just about business, but it's about actually taking control of your life. So the word entrepreneur, it actually comes from French, a French word, which means to be self-motivated. But as we've kind of come now into the future, the word entrepreneur typically means someone who starts, runs, and manages a business. But it's actually more than that. An entrepreneur is a risk taker. Most people avoid risks. Most people react to life. An entrepreneur is someone who actually goes out there and creates opportunities, takes risk. And as uh, the saying goes, Helen Keller, life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. If you dare nothing, then when the day is over, nothing is all you will have gained. The struggles we endure today will be the good old days we laugh about tomorrow. Whoever takes the risk is going to eventually get the spoils. You know, that's kind of how it goes. And it's just very true in life. But most people are risk adverse. Most people want the comfort of life. They, they find something that works and they never change. I don't want you to be like that. I want you to, at least in some small way, take a risk on yourself or else later down the road, you're going to regret all the things that you didn't do. Uh, I've interviewed a lot of old people. I've talked to a lot of people that are on their deathbed and they always talk about the things that they wish they did. I don't want you to be that. I don't want you to go to the, your grave. The world needs your business. The world needs your entrepreneurial drive. And for anybody listening who's not an entrepreneur, it's still good to think this way. It's very powerful. So an entrepreneur is a risk taker. An entrepreneur is someone that creates value. An entrepreneur is someone who creates profitable businesses. That's my definition of an entrepreneur. It is An entrepreneur is someone who creates profitable businesses. Now, there's lots of good words in there. The first one, entrepreneur, we'll be talking about someone who's self-motivated, self-starting, really going to be very resourceful, creative, and do lots of great things. The next one is create. Entrepreneurism is not something that just is going to fall into your lap. You have to create it. You have to be the creator of your own reality. And to be a true entrepreneur, you have to create the reality and the business that you want to see in the world. No one else is going to write your book, you know, write your screenplay, open your business, create your website. Someone might make your website, but they won't have the idea for it. Okay. A profitable business. Profitable blows people's minds, right? There's because human beings by nature, we are not, we're not profitable. <laughs> Be profitable. You have to produce more than you consume. Human beings are the opposite of that. Most human beings consume more than we produce. So to create a profitable business, your business has to generate more revenue than it consumes, generate more products, you know, than it, than it consumes. And then a business is a, a system of processes and offers serving and creating value for customers. Profitable means you have to generate more than it consumes. I think that's really powerful though to think about. So an entrepreneur for the definition of this program and going forward, an entrepreneur is someone who creates profitable businesses. Now here's the balance of becoming an entrepreneur and thinking like an entrepreneur. The balance is of three things. First, the balance is the needs of your customers. You get all your money from your customers. You build the business for your customers to solve a problem. The second need are the needs of your business. Businesses, they consume things. They, they take a lot of money to run. You got you to gotta keep the fuel in the engine. Otherwise, it'll come to a, a halt. Uh, you got to pay for the lights. You got to get the office. You got to make the, you know, you got to make it work. Okay, so you got to balance the needs of your customers with the needs of your business and then your needs. You as the entrepreneur have to balance these three things to truly be successful as an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur, though, is someone who creates. And that is a powerful thing that I really want you to also think about. But first, we got to talk about balancing. And, and that's really what we're going to get into in this program. And the key things about being an entrepreneur is being resourceful. Okay, so you got to be creative. You got to be a good leader and you got to be productive. Okay, those are the next topics that we're going to talk about today. We're just talking about, you know, what is an entrepreneur and how to think like an entrepreneur and how to break out of the fixed mindset into a growth mindset. Now, we have to talk about the world right now. Now, back in the day, having a job meant security and safety. It doesn't mean that anymore. Really, if you look around, the job economy is struggling. Everyone who especially since this whole Auntie Rona showed up, things have changed. 
Remember we used to, they're making people should go back to work now in buildings and we hate that kind of stuff. And it's just a, become more of a, a gig culture, right? Where we work at one job, we work at another job, you know, and we kind of bounce around. And in our lifetimes, we're probably going to change careers multiple, multiple times and have to reinvent ourselves in many ways. So I want you to, from now on, think of yourself as an entrepreneur, no matter what. And the only way you're truly going to have security and safety in your life is if you create your own income and create your own business as an entrepreneur that produces profits so that you can afford to pay for your family, so that you can feel comfortable in your life. And yes, it'll be a struggle. No one said it's going to be easy, but it's almost better to be able to bank on yourself and rely on yourself for your own incomes to pay your own bills than it is to get good jobs, get fired, do jobs that you hate and get laid off and then have no skills for your future. The true milestone that you need to reach is having a profitable business that you own that's yours. And I just want to point out though, that the the job economy is struggling. Things are changing. It's no longer safe out there to have a job and work it for you know 20 years and retire or whatever. Being an entrepreneur means you get to create your own success. You get to create your own failures, but you also get to create your own success when you win. And you only can fail if you quit. Very important to think about. So you got to master the skills of being an entrepreneur. And yes, it is a skill. You do need to constantly be learning and constantly be growing. But if you truly want to be a successful entrepreneur, you have to master the skills of being an entrepreneur. And mastering the skills, being an entrepreneur is what we're going to get into. But I just want to tell you this one important thing that you need to think about. You can't make money in the past. Okay, what you did back in the past is back then. All you can do is make money going forward. So if you want to make more money in the future, you have to learn the entrepreneurial skills that are going to make you more money in the future, no matter who you are. And the cool thing about nowadays too, is that entrepreneurs are superheroes. We are the superheroes of the future. Elon Musk, Richard Branson. These are the people that the kids look up to, that I look up to, that you look up to. Uh, Jeff Bezos, you know, they're all entrepreneurs. They took the risk, they started and they won. And then that's kind of who we want to be. And I think it's good that our kids out there and, and people out there are thinking like entrepreneurs, looking for new opportunities. Now I want you to understand how being an entrepreneur works. If you ever thought about a coral reef or an Amazon jungle, they have all of their own little niches, right? They have their own ecosystems going on. And we've gone from, we've gone from the hard labor works to the knowledge and technology. And within these different ways of the world, there are all sorts of little ecosystems and little niches that need your help, that you can have a thriving business providing value to these types of people within their own little niche. So it's just very important to think you don't have to have, you don't have to build rocket ships or build Amazon. You can find your own niche, something that you love doing, something that means something to you, that you understand the customers, that you know how to balance the customers, the business, and yourself, and you can dominate that niche, and you can live in that little ecosystem area and be super, super successful. Okay. So it can be anything you are, you're unique like everybody else, but I'm sure there is certain things that you love doing that you would be really willing to put more effort into if you just knew how to monetize it and you just knew how to turn it into a business. These niches are where the opportunities can be found. And I know finding a niche is like a, it makes you vomit and take a Tylenol whenever you're trying to pick your niche. I, I'm with you, but it's important to know that the riches are in the niches and a niche isn't a bad thing, especially when you're just starting out. But I'm just trying to get to the point. I want you to think about the ecosystems of business, of society, of life, of creating your own entrepreneurial ventures. You don't have to go huge and ridiculous. You can create your own small little niche and then just dominate that little niche in your own little ecosystem and you can be highly profitable and you'll be, you know, profitable You'll be happy. You'll be creating something. You'll have the stability that you need in your life. Okay, now we're going to talk about opportunity. Okay, entrepreneurs are the masters of creating opportunities. Here's what we need to know about opportunities, though. You're not always getting opportunities. <laughs> opportunities, oh, this, this is a, a cool quote uh, from Charles Munger. Opportunity is infrequent. You need to be ready when it comes. That's the quote from Charlie Munger, and I think that's super powerful. So entrepreneurs are masters of creating opportunity. You have to keep developing opportunities. You have to take advantage of opportunities before you are going to find your big opportunity in life. 
The thing about opportunities, again, is they're rare. They don't come around, and they're not always in your face. You're not always missing huge opportunities. But this is why you have to be reading. This is why you have to be taking care of your health. This is why you need to be constantly trying to grow, because when you do get this opportunity, when the big opportunity of your life comes, you truly want to jump on it and take that opportunity to the next level. Okay, most of the time, though, your big opportunity isn't there. Most of the time, you just need to be focusing on what works. It's like business as usual. So if you're trying to always create all these big, crazy things, you need to calm down sometimes and just focus on, okay, the, the marketplace likes this kind of value from me, so I'm going to just keep focused on getting really good at that, but I'm going to keep learning, I'm going to keep growing, and when I finally do get my big break, when my big opportunity comes along, I'm going to latch on to that. But you have to keep developing opportunities. You have to take advantage of opportunities, and you have to keep taking advantage of every opportunity you get until eventually you get your big opportunity, All right? That's that's like the key thing. And we have this weird problem in our minds uh, as human beings that we, I think the word is dichotomize. I might have butchered that. But we always see things either as black or as white, you know, good or bad, okay? There was an article I read recently where Einstein said something wrong. And, you know, as I'm reading it, I'm like, I'm sure you've fucking said things that are way more wrong than what Einstein said. <laughs> the reality about life is that it's a lot more squishy. There's a lot more gray area. Nothing is necessarily good or bad. And when we're creating a business, we tend to start things and then they don't work out right away and we, we make a mess. It's like whenever you make an art project or you make a piece of art, there's always going to be a freaking huge mess before you finally get to the final piece. And most people give up before they ever get to the final piece. Get to the final piece, chest it in the marketplace, and get where you want to go. But when you're creating your opportunities, you're going to have a lot of just making a mess. Because <laughs> it's not necessarily going to be right there in front of you. You're not necessarily going to have the perfect idea. But in order for you to continually build up to getting your huge opportunity of your life and being able to jump on it, you have to try new things. You have to try different businesses. You have to try different offers. You have to test different landing pages, different email campaigns, different ads. It's all a process, different products, different markets. It's an experiment, and whoever can experiment the most will be the most successful entrepreneur. And again, it's a process, though. And this is how, though, you create those opportunities, because if you are constantly creating new opportunities for yourself, and whenever you, you do get an opportunity, you're able to jump onto it, you are going to be more successful and you're going to be more prepared when your big opportunity comes. Now, there is a reverse side to this where if you just say yes to everything, then you might miss out on actually getting to the big opportunity because you're too busy with all these little stupid opportunities. So it's, it's a balance of being able to learn, experiment, and test things and understand that most of the time it's just work is normal but always be hunting and having your eyes open for that next big opportunity. And when you see the big opportunity of your life, you have to be able to jump on it. You have to be available and ready for it. That is the key thing I want you to know about being an entrepreneur and creating these opportunities. You have to be ready for your big opportunity. And most of the time it's just work as normal, but you always want to be improving, always be learning. And because there's some other quote that says, when the opportunity does come, does come, it's a lot better for you to be prepared and to screw up that opportunity <laughs> than to get a big opportunity and not be prepared. But most of the time, if you're prepared and that big opportunity is there and you can jump onto it, you will be massively successful. The truth is being an entrepreneur and having a really a lot of success intersects at the place between chance and choice. So if you will make the choice to become an entrepreneur and to work ridiculously hard to be successful, the chances are that eventually the intersections will cross where chance and your big opportunity will meet you there. Now, if you're just doing one job with no chance of promotion, one skill that is no way of scaling up, you have to ditch that and put on your entrepreneurial cap, start a business, start an opportunity, start a side hustle, and get the ball rolling. But it is at that intersection of chance and choice. And again, most of the time, you are not exposed to your big opportunity. 
but you have got to keep your eyes open and you can try every opportunity. You have to keep your eyes open and whenever you do get new opportunities, you have to be able to take advantage of them. And a lot of the times, it's not going to be the perfect fit. It's not going to be something that's like, ooh, this could be an opportunity or you're never going to find your dream client. A lot of people think, oh, I'm just going to get my best client and the client's going to take it off with it. Where the reality is, you're probably just going to get a regular client one day not going to think anything special and then they will become your best client because you were open to the opportunity and you took it on. All right. You need to think about that. Most of the time you should be focusing on what works. The knowing value creating method. Always be growing so that when the big opportunity does come, you can take advantage of it. But you want it that I like that these words though, knowing value creating method. So that's like your regular skill, your regular career, but always have your eyes open for that next big opportunity. That's what being an opportunity is all or an entrepreneur is all about. See, entrepreneurs, I want you to think about this. Entrepreneurs are the developers of opportunity. And it is this skill that you can work work on to get to success. And it is this skill that is going to come to you when you've gotten good at developing opportunities. That is the skill of being an entrepreneur. You will see one opportunity, you will develop it into a new opportunity, and It'll either be massive success or it'll fail or something will happen. But as soon as you get really good at creating more and more of these opportunities, you will begin to get the big opportunity of your lifetime that's going to make you massively successful that you're going to be able to take on. So the skill of being an entrepreneur is creating and developing opportunities so that you can be successful. And as soon as you've gone through this a lot, I know we've heard about the stories of people starting businesses in their garage and making a million dollars, but if you actually talk to entrepreneurs, you actually talk to the story and the the way that they made it to their success is they tried lots of different things. They, They got really good at developing opportunity after opportunity and they saved a little bit of money. That is the skill. So to create and become a better opportunity developer, you just have to understand that normally it's business as usual but you always have to be working on some new opportunity that you think is really good. And as you learn and you try these new opportunities, you're going to stack these different kinds of skills. You're going to stack these different kinds of relationships. You're going to stack these different kinds of things until you eventually create a character and a life around you that is open to new opportunities that people are just going to come to you and it's just going to work for you. And you're going to become a successful entrepreneur. And success is going to come to you when you've gotten good at opportunity development. Now I'm teaching you all of this, number one, so you can start businesses, but also so you can take control of your life. So you can really take more control of your life and have your willpower and use your willpower to take control of your life and actualize your greatest potential in life. Because if you think about it, being an entrepreneur is doing what you can do and creating it in real life. And if you can create something in real life, it will be your greatest creation and you will be able to actualize your best life. That is powerful stuff right there. So basically, to summarize, to be an entrepreneur, you have to create your own opportunities and then mine them for success while constantly looking for bigger opportunities, taking you to that next level. So if you really want to become an entrepreneur, this is what I want you to take away from this. You know, you really have to ask yourself, why do I want to become an entrepreneur? You know, sure, to make more money is is good, but it's not really going to get you to the next level. So you really have to understand why do you want to become an entrepreneur? For me, it's freedom. For me, uh, it's, you know, making something amazing. I want to create brilliant work. I I love thinking deeply, really creating something that's going to have an impact on not only my life, but other people's lives. Uh, And then the next thing I want you to do is I want you to visualize what it will look like when your entrepreneurial goals are achieved. Really picture what it is going to look like in your mind. Are you, what kind of car are you driving? What kind of house do you live in? What kind of thoughts are you thinking of? What kind of clothes do you wear? What are you doing? And what are you, what is your schedule? What is your habits like? So visualize this. And then I want you to send it into the air and watch it explode into a thousand pieces. And tell yourself that you have to create it now. And you have to start working on it today. I'm excited to talk to you guys in the next one. All right.